Thank you. Mm. Whoa, Roy, did you make these? Oh yeah. What did you do? These are awful. What, what do you mean? What, I mean, what ingredients did you use? So how, how did you bake these cookies? I mean, what did you, what recipe did you use? Well, I have this thing where I can use any recipe and I pour till I feel happy. Look, you can't do that. Measurements are really important. You've got to, when you're following a recipe, you've got to, you know, use the exact measurements and you really need to have a tight tolerance. You can't, uh, you can't make, make it with whatever you know looks good to you or whatever just not about my feelings <laughs> no it's not about your feelings let me give you an example of what i'm talking about okay hopefully um, it has pictures okay let me show you what i'm talking about uh, with a test that i've set up so on this calibrator i've got a an rtd transmitter connected so I want to perform the same test two different ways. So I had, the only difference between the tests is a tolerance. So on this transmitter test, I'm going to go from 0 to 250 degrees with a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. And really, instrumentation is much better than that today. So, so it's, 5%, how many degrees is that? It's around, it's a little over 10 degrees. Okay. So it's, I would equate it to you throwing in an uneven scoop here or it calls for one and two-thirds cup and you end up putting in two cups or a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. You're just kind of being sloppy with the, with the, when I say tolerance. So when I perform this test, it, it looks good. So, you know, when you were baking, you ended up with cookies on the, on the plate that, that looked right. They look great, and that looks good. Exactly. But this is a really loose tolerance. So, so even though it looks really good, there is a slight incline here. Now watch, I'm going to perform the same exact test, but with a tolerance this time of a half a percent. So this is a, a factor of 10. So we went from around 10 degrees down to nearly one degree okay. of an error. So same instrument, same calibrator, same test. So we're looking good here at zero, but now that incline that you saw before is really amplified. And in fact, this highlights that we're making a bad measurement here and this instrument needs to be calibrated. So it actually failed. So if you're following your recipe on a critical reactor where you need a, at a certain temperature the product change of state or whatever, you want to get, you want to nail that temperature every time that you run that batch or that process that it, that it's hitting the exact same temperature to a really tight tolerance. So what you're saying is whether I'm baking cookies or calibrating a critical instrument that my measurements and tolerances need to be clearly defined? Exactly. Ah. Oh. Want a cookie? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>